know, feel free to ask. I don't know if anyone else will be here. Also, my phone might die. But that's a price I'm willing to pay for learning. Okay. My notes over here. All right, Sky, well, unfortunately, you're going to have to answer all the questions because you're only right here. Tough. Tough day for a guy like you. All right. Okay. I don't know, start off the way I always like to start off stuff. Triangle. What goes on that? What goes on a triangle? Okay. Yeah. The, the triangle. Three different types of comps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Brawl, poke, and dive. I kind of always draw it. I should, like, pick a way to draw it, but I just draw it different every time. All right. So, like, Orissa in general, where where should we put Orissa here? Like, in this triangle. Where should Orissa go? I said probably, like, midway between Brawl and poke. I wouldn't say midway. Because midway would say they're equally poke as they are Brawl, right? Uh, I would say they're more brawl, but they're definitely on this line somewhere, right? So, and again, something that I want to try to kind of incorporate when we're talking about um, Orisa or just in general, like comps, is that one character isn't going to define a comp. So let's give a nice range here. Let's say, like, somewhere in here, Orisa's going to fall, right? And how do you know if we want to move more brawl, what, like, what kind of characters could we play with Orisa? Like Reaper, May, Moira. Yeah, we say like Reaper and May and Moira and uh, you know like Pass, more like stuff you typically run with a Ryan, right? We move closer to Ryan comps. Eventually, if you move it further, that's when you're substituting in the Ryan for the Arisa, right? All right. So if we want to play more pokey, what would we be substituting? Maybe like Soj, Bap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking Soj, Bap, Hanzo, oh Soj. Otherwise, it would be Umber. Blue Soge. Soge, Bap, Hanzo, right? Characters are a little bit more poke. You know, you can play for your poke a little bit more. So when... So oh, here. No. Right, so that's where Risa is, right? And then we can change it up or down if we want to. Okay. So now let's talk about why would we play Orisa instead of just playing, like, Rom is the big one, right? Instead of playing Rom... Instead of playing Rhine, right? Why would we play Orissa? Why? Why would we play Orissa over? Let's and then let's write a reason for each. Rom, Rhine. Why? Why would we play Orissa instead of one of these characters, which are generally speaking kind of a, a poke brawl hybrid, right? Like Rom, you obviously have your shoot form and you have shield. It's going to give you a lot of pressure to poke out the enemy team and kind of deny their poke. And same with Ryan, right? You've got a shield that can let your teammates kind of poke for a little bit if you want to be poking, right? So why would we play Orisa? Uh, well, I think Orisa has like more range than both of them. Well, it wouldn't say more range than Rom, right? Yeah, I guess. R Rom's got a gun. Rom, yeah. But we can say Ryan. We can say, you know, range. We can say the range on Ryan. Okay. But why would we so... I think, you know, Ryan is a little bit more straightforward. A little bit more straightforward. But it, it does kind of all follow the same big reason that I want to eventually get to. Which, you know... Orisa is a little bit more obvious in the sense that, okay, you know, Ryan is a very close range character. We can kind of just space the Ryan, right? Make it really hard for him to swing on you and hit your fire strikes. And if he ever does try to commit to you, you just commit your cooldowns back and... Again, kind of forcefully space them, right? Which is something that, you know, only Arisa can do, right? And you can still like, keep it your optimal range, where he's just out of swing range, but you're getting maximum damage on your... What is that thing called? Fusion Driver? I think it's called Fusion Driver. Um, but there's another reason. So, so like, you say, like, oh, well, Arisa can just outpoke Ryan. That's not necessarily true, right? Not necessarily true. Why is that not necessarily true? Uh, I think it depends a lot on, like, the rest of the comp as well. Yeah, it depends on the rest of the comp, right? Because, well, uh, yeah, I'm going to dive a little bit further into that thought. I just want to kind of hear your, your reasoning here. You're right. I mean, you're 100 right. But, well, fine. I think Orisa is, like, really easy to get poked out by a lot of DPS. I mean, mm -hmm. just, 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 like, a big hitbox and big headshot hitbox. And then Ryan kind of enables that with his shield. Yeah, so... 
Yeah, well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say Orisa can get poked out. Kind of. Um. A good Orisa. A good Orisa map is a map where Orisa can't get poked out. So a good, good Orisa map, and we'll get that later. You know what maps is Orisa good on? Uh, okay. All right. So we were talking about uh, why would you not play? You know, why would you play Orisa instead of? Rama or Ryan, right? And one of the reasons we said was because Ryan, but well, he just outranged, right? And if the Ryan ever tries to commit onto you, you can space them with your cooldowns, right? You just spare him back, and, yeah. It's very hard for him to walk into you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so why would we play Orisa instead of Ryan? Or, or Ryan. Ryan has similar issue, but part of it is the range. There's another issue. So, I mean, why would you play wrong? Why would you not play wrong? Right. No question. Well, doesn't Orisa, like, in theory, have a little more uptime than Ram? Because he has the, you know, like, the cooldown cycle, right? And, I mean, you still have one for Orisa. But I feel like she can sustain it a little more, maybe. Maybe. But here's... Okay. Can Orisa sustain by themselves? No. No. Can Rom sustain by themselves? Yeah, he's just got to press right-click when he's in Nemesis. He's got Nen, he's got Block, he's got Heal, he's got Slow. He's pretty, pretty chill, right? He can live by himself for a little bit. Okay. Orisa? So much. So much. Right. Okay. Let's think, what are some... Counters to Arisa. So if you wanted to beat an Arisa, how would you do it? You know, what, what kind of comp would you build? What are some weaknesses that Arisa has that maybe we can think? What are some weaknesses that Arisa has that Ryan and Rom don't have? Uh, well, if you can get... After she uses Fortify, you can burn her with, like, an Echo or something. I think it's, like, a lot easier yeah. to ignore an Arisa. Yeah. Mobility. That's... It's a lot easier for who to ignore an Arisa. DPS. DPS, right? So, DPS can ignore the Arisa. And what can Ryan do about that? We can rush onto them or shield them off. Yeah, you, so you can either... You play stack and then you can peel for your, you know, your DPS. Or you can shield them off, right? Peel, shield. Right. What can Ryan do? Kind of same thing, right? You've got a nice shield to cut off the back line from helping. And you've got a slow and you can peel with them for him, right? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why is Arisa good now? Now knowing that one of Arisa's weaknesses is like, hey, we can lose the DPS, right? Yeah, maybe Arisa gets more value than these guys, but it doesn't matter for back line stick, right? So... What are some strengths of Arisa? Maybe let's go there first. So, you know, weaknesses of Arisa is that you can ignore the Arisa, kill the rest of the team, right? And Arisa is not the best peeler. So, what are some strengths that Arisa has? So, range? Range one of them? Okay. Lives forever. Yeah. Depending. You can live forever. You can live forever if, if what? If you have support. Well, if you're, if you're getting resources, right? Yeah. So, so, the thing with Arisa is that you can cycle cooldowns, but not perfectly, right? You can cycle your cooldowns pretty well, but you're going to die in between your cooldown cycles. But if you get a lamp in between, or you get a Suzu in between, you're going to get your next cooldown rotation off, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. okay. So now we know some strengths of Arisa is that they can just live longer if they're getting stuff. Right, they're getting heals. Okay. Okay. So why why am I saying that right now? Her meta Orisa is better than Ramen Ryan. I played him over Ramen Ryan. Why? Mm. Man, ah. Uh... This guy, you can answer myself. Whatever. Uh, 
I think uh, yeah. on like a lot of really brawl oriented maps, it's too hard for the DPS to actually properly ignore the Arisa and find value onto the enemy backline. So let's let's follow that thread. What are some DPS historically, or to when Arisa was meta, that were played to counter Arisa in the way that we're talking about, where you just ignore the Arisa and just kill the rest of the backline? What are some DPS? Where you see that? Um, I think it was Soge. I'm going to go a different color. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So And Genji. Yeah. So. Genji. Probably like Tracer. I wouldn't say Tracer as much. Just not historically. Uh, it could it could happen, but yeah. I wouldn't say historically. Uh, well, could it be a current? Like it could be any like an Arisa counter, huh? It could be. I'm just thinking. There's one other specific one I'm thinking. There's another one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's, there's probably have, a few more, but I'm thinking of one specifically. I mean, is Sombra? Would Sombra be good? I, I wouldn't say Sombra. I wouldn't no. say Sombra. No, I mean, not historically. It, it can work, but I don't think it's great. I don't think it's great. It's great. Echo, maybe? Echo could work. It's super fair. Oh, what am I right on Echo? So, what am I looking for? Really? One more I'm thinking of. It's OP. He's always OP. But not right now. But he's always OP. Who's the most OP character ever? Oh, it's got me. Uh, the most OP character ever. Hanzo? Ever. All right. Hanzo. Aw, oh, man. That is Hanzo true. great counter. Why is Hanzo a great arrested counter? You go on an off angle and then you one shot their back line. You don't even need to go on an off angle. You can. You yeah. Go on. See you later. One shot. Dead, right? Yeah. Okay. Which of these characters suck right now? Genji. Genji sucks. Ah. Uh, Soj, Soj, maybe. You know, she's... this is like, we, we still gotta fill out the new patch. Obviously, like, this is something that is uh, taking place, like, now. This is like we you know we've been playing Arisa for a few weeks, so this, but this was like before the patch, right? So I'm gonna say I'm just gonna say Soge sucks. May not be true given the new patch, but right. when Soge sucks, I just want to kind of talk about when Soge sucks, right? Who else sucks here? Like Hanzo post patch, not terrible, but when you're playing Arisa with a May and a Reaper, pretty bad, yes. right? Yeah. And Echo's fine. Echo's fine, but generally you're gonna play Arisa on what kind of maps? Close base. Brawl. Maps where it's hard. For the echo to get verticality on you, right? Okay, so Arisa seems pretty good, right? Because the counters to Arisa are just bad right now, right? So, what are a lot of the comps that you see at a pro level being played right now? Like right now? Uh, um, I mean, pre pre patch, which is what they're on, yeah. Uh, I mean, Winston Tracer Sombro. So let's just talk about DPS right now. We will get tanks, but let's talk about DPS. That's kind of what I want to focus on right now. Yeah. So what kind of DPS? Well, you see the Tracer Sombra. True. But what's unique about those DPS? Mobility. Mobility, which means? Hard to kill. Can't... Uh, hard to kill, but also... Do you have to hard pocket a Tracer or a Sombra? No. As a support player. No, so where are all the resources going from instead of going to these characters, where are they going? Their tank. Going to the tank, right? So right now, the meta, you know, pro play, but generally, is to feed your tank resources. Right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Feed your tank resources, whether it's a ROM or a Ryan or if a Winston, right? The meta is let your patients on play the game. 
you know, let them look for stuff, let them follow up, but generally, they're not eating up your heels. Yeah, not eating up your defensive resources, not eating up your support's time, right? So, what does that mean for Arisa? Got all kinds of help. Yummy, yummy, right? Let me get the cool ones, okay. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Right. That's, like, the main basis for why I think is very good. The counter service are bad. And the risk can get a lot of resources. Right. Right. And now let's dive a little bit further into, like, kind of, I don't want to say, like, low level, but, like, the ELO that we're playing in, what maps yeah. are we playing a risk on? Let's talk about maps. So let's say, like, uh, maps. What, these... And what, whenever we're talking about maps, what, what, what words do I want you to use? And then, Bevan, I want you to answer this. What words do I want you to use whenever we're talking about maps? Um, you're not expected to know this. It's extra credit if you know this, but extra credit, man. I want extra credit. Uh, what do I need to talk about with maps? We talked about it before. I'll I'll say that. Um. Mm. High ground? Oh, well, let's see. We're getting somewhere now. So, high ground. So, high ground. Gone. Uh huh. And what else? I missed it. What else? High, high ground and closed spaces? Would it be a closed space? Man, I'm good. Give you extra credit for sure. Brain's braining today. Okay. So now let's. So, whenever we're talking about maps and where we want to play a specific comp, right? We want to talk about how important and accessible is high ground for your comp and how open or close is the space that you can play in, right? Right. So, for when we're playing Orissa, high ground. Do we want easily accessible high ground? Specifically for the you know, enemy team or our team. Do we want there to be easily accessible and important high ground? Right. Do we? Good question. Uh, no, not usually. On her Why race. not? Why not? Be because her mobility, she's not as yeah. mobile as like a Winston or something. Yeah, so she doesn't have vertical mobility, right? So it's very hard for her to individually contest high ground, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, there's the fact of it's much easier for them to play stuff that counters you, like Widow or Ash or, you know, stuff that is meant to kind of hit your backline really hard. Mm -hmm. It is a lot easier to play that when there's a high ground. Closed space? Do you want there to be closed space or open space? Closed. Why? And that way she can get on top of whoever she needs to quicker. Yeah. Like uh, support or backline. Yeah, so it's generally brawl comps like less rotations, right? And there's also the fact of, again, you want to be rotating less. What, well, why do you want to be rotating less? I guess that's a good question. Why do we want to be rotating less? And you can get poked out on the rotation. Yeah, you can right? get poked out. And what is the rest really weak to? Uh, having her cooldowns forced. Like yeah, having her cooldowns back. forced, but also, you know, backline dying, right? Right, because then she's screwed. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, that's the kind of thing we'll play Rissan. So let's go ahead and do some examples. What are some examples of maps that we would, you know, and a cheat code is you can think of maps that we currently play Rissan. So what are some maps that don't have high ground, and the space is closed that you're playing in? Antarctic University. Okay, so I heard university. So university. Okay. Oh. Uh, most of the maps on Antarctic, I think. Well, uh, maybe not uh, the one. There's the one with a high ground too. Um. Okay, well, so there's high ground, so okay, let's think. So I'll write down Icebreaker for now, right? Mm hmm Icebreaker. Icebreaker. And that's the yellow map, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the other two maps have high ground. Let's talk about labs first. So for labs, that's the underground map that has a platform above the point, right? Mm -hmm. How, how, in, first off, let's ask, how important is high ground on that? Very. Do you think so? 
Well, I feel like if you have a Hanzo, well, maybe not that middle part. The middle part of the high ground is really not that important. Mm -hmm. I feel like well, here. Good, but you can definitely like play under it. Yeah, you can just yeah. play under the high ground, right? Um, the high ground on the sides towards the spawn is a little bit more important, but that's fairly accessible, right? That's the next question: is how accessible is the high ground? Well, it's pretty accessible. Versus big maps like Ilios Lighthouse, right? How accessible is that high ground for non-vertical characters? Not at all, really. It's pretty brutal, right? So let's go ahead and write down here, Labs. Okay, let's go, Bernie. Hey, <laughs> yeah. All right, and then for what's that now called? Wait, no, this is this is underground or whatever. It's a sub level. Yeah. Let's talk about Labs. Now. I don't even know the names for them. So Labs, the other one. Yeah. That's the one with the just that ramp on the left and then the high ground on the right? Yeah. So, how important is high ground? There. I think it's pretty important. Yeah. I think it's very, very important. How accessible is it? It's really accessible. Pretty accessible. Well, it's fairly accessible. If you want to force the point, it can be hard to rotate back to high ground because you're peaking the high ground the whole time back up to high ground. So, you could probably say, like, that labs is, like, mid-level. Right. Is there a counterplay? Can you play poke on it not to counter on Arista Comp? Probably. If you play an Arista Comp well, can you probably beat a poke comp on it now? Yeah. Probably, right? So we'll say like kind of squiggle line labs. Right. There's probably like mm -hmm. mid level, right? There's some counterplay. The high ground is important, but it's fairly accessible. So you don't have to worry about it too much. If you control the high ground, you control the world. Alright. So these are the kind of apps that we want to play Arista Comp on. Right. So now let's think, what do these maps, I'll leave university and sub-level down there, so it's kind of examples. Benny, where are you right now? Uh, you see Oh, god. Yeah, I'm on my way. <laughs> okay, so what do these maps, university, sub-level, what do they offer Orissa? I'll also write control center down here. What do these maps offer Orissa? Not Orissa's comp. What do they offer Orissa specifically? Okay. Close, kind of close quarters. I mean. Yes, which is important. Why? Because that's where Orissa kind of thrives, right? Why? Why? I mean, yeah, but. Well, yeah, but. Uh, you're answering a question. You're answering a question with a question. You're saying, like, Orissa's good there because she's good there, right? Right. What's up with that? Uh, brain's not braining anymore. Um, makes it, I mean, it makes it easier for her to get on back line or like DPS. But why don't you just walk on the enemy whenever, wherever? Like, why does it make it balance. easier? Oh, uh, yeah. You're kind of making it, you're skipping and stuff. But why, I mean, why can't you just walk at you why can't you just play Rissa and walk at the enemy on every single map and just walk at them and then they die? because uh, she's gonna get poked out. Yeah. So what do and closed maps poke. offer Orissa? You can't really run poke as well on closed maps. So why? it offers her Because Orissa uh, has She has resources. The broad potential. Uh, yeah, close space, yeah, but what does close space offer Ritha? The ability to get on the enemy without getting poked out because those maps have cover. Corners. Yeah, so natural cover, right? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so these maps offer Orissa natural cover, right? Team natural cover, which is good for holding corners and just generally avoiding poke, right? Uh, generally avoiding poke is like good for Orissa. Why? A, you don't want your Orissa cooldowns being poked out. But more importantly, significantly more important, is you don't want your backline just dying, falling over to a Junkrat or a Hansel. Right. And right. natural cover, i will let you do that. All right. What else do these maps offer us? And then we can talk about Arissa's comp. Right. So we talk more than just Arissa. What kind of, oh, what other characters are we playing on this map and what does it offer them? So maybe to do that, let's go ahead and write up an Arista comp here. I'll keep it kind of on the side. 
um, for the rest. Of All right. So, so what's a what's an Arisa comp that we might play? Again, playing to the strengths of Arisa. So, one thing that we talked about earlier is we don't want to have Arisa in a situation where they don't get any resources, right? Mm-hmm. So we want to have DPS who aren't gonna soak up all the resources. So who are some bad DPS to play with Arisa? Widow. Uh, yeah. Widow. Uh, or, uh, yeah. Or, uh, yeah, Widow no, Far. That's not true. Uh, honestly, no, I think Arisa with Far comes in a lot recently. Well, not recently, Arisa is playing a completely different comp. Yeah, it's a different Arisa comp. Yeah. Widow? Far? Alright, Widow? Yeah, you probably don't want to have like an Ash or something either. Yeah. Or a Cass with how squishy he is. Yeah, Cass, Cass is generally, and the the kind of like nerfs to him have been a pretty big hit to this like his health. Of like the reason why you pick Cass is it's because an Ash that doesn't need a pocket, right? It's it's a hit scan that doesn't need to be babysat, right? Mm -hmm. That's generally why you kind of play Cass, right? Think like what do we play? We play with Ryan, right? And in Ryan comp, generally we have like a Baptiste and a Lucio whose main focus is to either be helping the Ryan out or dealing damage themselves, right? They don't really want to be like babysitting the DPS as much, right? It's not really their strength as a character. So we pick mm -hmm. Cast with them because Cast has a nice roll, offers damage resist and mobility. He's got a little bit of extra health. He's got a nice nade to win one v ones if he needs to, right? And the, the nerfs have kind of like hurt that a little bit, which is why Cast has not played as much. Um, so, generally, Cast would be a better pick in Arisa Comp. He's just kind of in a rough spot right now. But, yeah. Really pretty good. Okay. So, what if our Ash? These are some characters that would not be great. So, what are some characters that would be good with Arisa? So, maybe we can talk about supports first. I love my Baptiste. Kind of easier. Yeah. yeah? That... Lucio. Lucio. Yeah, Lucio. Uh... Bap and Lucio are generally going to be your. Mm -hmm. Can you have a couple changes? Yeah, maybe. Maybe you could throw in a curious. Something really Moira crazy, yeah, or a brig. Some life weaver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moira, if there's nothing to punish on Moira, I think you should play Moira. If there's no Ana, no, like, Queen, you should, I think you should play Moira. But, uh, you know, or Sombra. If there's no Sombra, no Trace, or whatever. If there's nothing to Moira. punish having a Moira, I think it's really good. But, generally, there have something to punish uh, your Moira. So we, we think, generally, we, we're going to start off on Baptiste. If we switch to Moira later down the line, that's good. Right. Um, okay, so what else? The Bap, Lucio... Arissa, what are the DPS here now? Reaper? Yeah, so Reaper. Reaper would be good one. May. May, uh... Yeah, so let's just say Reaper May for now. So these allow a couple things. One, they just have more health than every other DPS, right? So that kind of lets them live a little bit longer through poke and not get like one shot by Hanzo, right? So it's good. Uh, what, else is, what else do they offer? Well, like I said earlier, we don't really want DPS that are hard soaking up resources. We want DPS that are kind of able to be self-sufficient, live on their own, at least for a little bit, right? I'm not saying, like, you never get healing ever, right? But, you know, Reaper, you've got Wraith, you can live a little bit, you can fall back to cover. You've got Cryo, you can fall back to cover, right? Okay. And these are kind of good DPS in general, right? And there are a ton of other variations. I'm not saying this is the only variation. This is just the one I will kind of want to focus on today. Uh, there's some other stuff you can play with Arisa. Like, I was saying, you can play, like, a poke hybrid pump. Uh, and just kind of say, like, well, maybe this is a really good map for Arisa. Arisa can really live here with their cooldowns. So they can get two ability restrictions off without much or any support help, right? But in general, this is kind of a comp I want to focus on because it plays to the strength of Orissa. Whereas the Far Arisa comp is generally more playing to the strengths of the Farah, and you just kind of tech pick the Arisa. It, it might be. So now, what do these characters, let's say, kind of like, on the stuff in blue, this is the comp that we're focusing on. What do these characters get from University Control Center and Sublim? Lands with cover to close space. True. So, yeah, so natural cover, right? So these characters do all benefit from this natural cover as well, right? All, Arisa does too, but so does Reaper, so does May. So there's even Baptiste, right? Because Baptiste loves to have like the tank in between them and the enemy team so you can like shoot, shoot, heal really easily for free. Same with Lucio, you can keep your tank in your aura and keep an eye on everything while also getting free poke damage off, right? Uh, Reaper. But I want to kind of focus on the DPS here. 
So, what are the DPS given here? So, I think May is, is the, there's the obvious part of May, which is what? For wall. Utility? Yeah, you just get wall generally easier on control center and university and sub level, right? But then, then maybe not even sub level, right? But definitely control center university, somewhat sub level, especially if you're fighting up top, right? You can get free walls off, uh, just the way the maps are built, right? You can even say, um, like, village in some areas, right? Um, but what else does Reaper and May get from a map that's kind of closed space? Uh, this might be a little bit easier if you're just thinking about these specific maps. I mean, I feel like you just get to like play the range you want to play. You can just like you're, you're close range characters, and you get to play in close range. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Reaper, I think a lot of that is natural cover. Natural cover, and I guess one thing that we could write is, well, it's not just a combination of natural cover, because there are maps that have natural cover, but the enemy team maybe isn't forced to fight into you, right? They can just, like, chill and poke you out, or find an angle, or rotate to the point, right? But what else is important about these these maps? The point is, like, really important? Yeah, I don't I don't know what a great, like, word for this is, but I'm just going to say, like, um, objectives, control. Right. Like objective control. It's very important to control the objective here. Right. Okay. But there's one other thing. So let's think about when we're playing Reaper on Control Center. You know, what are we doing? Are we just like sitting behind our tank, chilling, waiting for them to walk into us? If you're in there. <laughs> yeah, you're in there. Yeah. yeah, you're in there. But how do you get in there? Do you just walk in from me? No. No, hopefully not. Yeah. I mean, you all do. Yeah. You, should. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> I've seen Gom on the Reaper before. No, but no, Sky, no. Sky might know this one. Sky's been there. Cause Sky's been there, and he's we've gotten caught. You have you have flanks. We've got nice flanks. Flanks. And I'm gonna say angles, but it's just soft angles, right? And who do the soft angles help? The support. The supports, that's one. And the Also, right. yeah. Go watch High Level Brawl, and it is literally like three quarters of fights. It's just the May randomly double headshot someone. GG, go next. One. So <laughs> fun. <laughs> so, and, you, when, and it's very good to be playing May on these maps that you can get these like free angles on. Right. So, you know, this is. Why we like playing Orisa on these close face maps, right? And then, you know, well, why don't you just play Rom and Ryan for all those reasons? Oh, well, you talked about that earlier, right? The DPS aren't as good, and Orisa kind of hard bully tanks. Okay. So now, let's talk about Orisa. Where am I? Orisa. Oh, Orisa. Let's talk about Orisa versus other comps now. So we kind of understand the idea behind Orisa, right? But now, I mean, if we can, we can play the comp. Uh, in a custom game where it's just five of us sitting still, right? And then we're like, oh, we're playing these great guys. But now, there are five other players that are also, they're like, we want to win, you know? And we're like, wait, what? Yeah. So let's talk about Orisa versus, what, what do you guys want to do first? What do you want to do first? Poke. Is that green show up well? Can you see that? Yeah, yeah you can see it. All right, cool. Poke. Okay, so Orisa against Pope. So, how do I play Orisa against Pope? You want to close the distance? Close the distance. Let me pull the chair. Pull the chair and think here. Hmm. <laughs> close the distance, but. Well, here, maybe this will be a little more helpful. Ooh. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting. Oh, let me let me shoot this text real quick. Go on. Hey, it's gone. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> no, no. we were so back. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pod V's over, guys. GG. No. Oh. Go run it down. I'm inspired to one trick you, you Arisa study, now. As per usual. Stick a one trick Arisa to top 500. I could. <laughs> no, I <think laughs> definitely couldn't. 
I could probably get semi close. About to do a Torb. On range of jam. I'm rocking with play it. Arisa. You one trick like Arisa Torb. God, yeah, I was oh, just about to say we should make a duo. Okay, I'm back. Oh, oh my god. Ah. Welcome back. <laughs> here. This game. Oh, I got I got like, yeah. I have to set my phone again. Is that fine? Can you guys see mm -hmm. that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're just like on the wall, it's really dust. Oh, okay. yeah. So let's drop a poke comp, maybe, and this will make it a little bit easier for us to discuss because then we can talk about specifics rather than just like, oh, generally poke. So there could be 18 million different types of poke. So give me a, give me a poke comp that you would uh -huh. see played. Sigma. Is this Sigma? Sig. Sigma. Probably Ash Sojourn, maybe Ash Widow, which one of the map is like. Yeah, we can say. Uh, let's, why don't we just say Double Sniper? And that will kind of cover our bases. Hanzo right? Widow, that works too. Yeah. We can say Hanzo Widow, we can say Ash, we can say Such. Any of those four characters is kind of what we're thinking. And then Babzen. 2x Snipe. And then we can say Bab. Okay. So when we're looking at a poke comp, maybe this is same about two. Whenever we do our bot on poke comps, but whenever we talk about a poke comp, who are we? Who's our carry when we're playing the poke comp? Who's our carry? What uh, everyone? Your snipers. Sniper. Yeah, your your backline. Let's generally saying backline. I would. Point more towards the snipers, right? Because Babs probably not one v nine in the game unless you're me, and maybe, but you know, <laughs> Zenyatta. Yeah, Zen so really, uh, not yeah. not not you, but maybe a different Zen. Maybe maybe Jay Jonah. Maybe, like maybe Jay Chobi. Maybe Jay Chobi. Jay Chobi. Wow. <laughs> Clearly, need to get freshened up on my Zen gameplay. Okay. Man. What about anyway? Do you think the law could do that? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Well, so whenever we're looking at though, whenever we're looking at Pope Comp. <laughs> Right. If we want to try to get on the back line, right? That's like our main point. Like standing up. We want to get on the back line, right? We want to get on the back line. So, how do we do that? Because, well, what happens if you just walk at them in a straight line across an open field? You get poked out. Yeah, you get shot and killed. It's not great. Don't get shot. Don't it's die. Write that one down. Don't die. Cool. Yeah, okay. So, we want to. Get on back line. Okay, next question. How do we do that? That's a good one. How do we do that? You use cover. Okay, so we want to use cover, right? Amp speed. Big resource. We want to use cover. It's a good one. It's a good one. Okay, so let's say so we wanna get on. So let's let's talk attack now. It's like we wanna play aggressively into the enemy team, right? Let's talk about that first, then we'll talk about if we're holding space, right? So we want to use natural cover. Okay, what does this let us do? Close the distance. Close the distance without taking poke. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so go ahead, a good one. Amp speed. Use yeah, we we'll just use cooldowns to rotate as well, right? Resources. Yeah, you use resources. And what are some resources that we can use to rotate? It's not just cooldowns. There is cooldowns. Cooldowns is one of them. But what else can we use? Um, lamp. Well, we're not. Let's let, let's. I'm gonna do a throwback. Let's think Zarya Reaper. How did that comp? What resource did that comp use to close space? Attention. TP. Attention. Yeah. Attention. Right. In the form of a pinch. Right. Mm -hmm. Attention. Okay. And we can use CDs. And one other one of the main ones that I want here. HP. What? HP. Yeah. HP. Okay. These are all resources that we can and have to use to close the distance on the poke comps, right? Especially if we're playing aggressively. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. So now, if we're playing defensively, let's say oh, they have to push into us. What do we have to do?
Wait, did you say if we were playing defensively? So if we were playing defensively, so we are holding. Well, here, why, why would it... the situation where we'd be playing defensively? If you have the objective. If we have objective control, so use objective control. If you have too many resources forced out. What's that? If you have too many resources forced out. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, like you're saying, don't you? We don't want to get too many resources. No, I'm out. saying, if your resources get forced out, you're forced to play defensively. Um, I'm thinking more like before the fight even starts, I guess. Before it starts, okay. You're you're right. You're right. You're right. I get, I get what you're saying. It's just like miscommunication. I'm saying like, what is the reason they would have yeah, to push yeah, into yeah. us? Like they have to push into us. Not that they want to push into us, but they have to push into us. Mm -hmm. I don't think. So we have this. So we want to use objective control. Okay, but even, so what if we're just sitting still in the objective? I'm on watch point Gibraltar. I'm playing an Arisa comp. I'm chilling on the point. Ooh, objective control. Ooh, you suck. Right. Then what do they do? Uh, drop on you. Yeah. Sit on the high ground and kill you. <laughs> they, oh, yeah, maybe not. Sit on the high ground and shoot you, right? So what else? Do, what else do we need to do? Still, what do we need to do? Even if we're playing defensively. Control high ground. That's kind of the, that's kind of objective control. Objective control is a nice general kind of word that sounds good, but smarter teams will take this to mean controlling the critical space, right? Yeah. Whenever we say we want to control the objective, we just mean we want it, them to be in a situation where they have to walk through us to get what they want. And usually, you can say ninety-nine percent of the time, what do they want? Probably to capture the objective. Yeah. It seems like a pretty good goal in Overwatch. If you want to win, you should probably catch the issue. But, you know, scholars have been debating that for centuries. So we can say, you know, objective control just means controlling the critical space. Right? Okay, but if I'm just sitting on the car, watch point to Gibraltar, they're shitting, they're just sitting on the high ground, they kill me. Right? So, obviously just controlling the objective isn't going to work. What else do we need? Uh, maybe okay. From your DPS. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 no. Let's say we're playing Ilios Lighthouse, right? And I, I've got a, I've got a guy controlling their high ground, and I've got my Arissa on the point, and I've got a guy controlling my high ground, right? I've got the critical spaces covered. I've got the point covered, right? Okay, they play Farmer's State Ball and they kill me. I'm like, wait, what? And I control the point. What do you mean? What do you mean I died a far, right? What else do we need besides objective control? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cover. So gotta use cover. And I gave extreme examples, but you can even think on control center. Where do you, you control the objective? Let's say, you know, they have to push into you. Where do you want to hold? Probably like white room. Yeah, white. Yeah, just, just on a corner, right? You're right. Or like, you're right. I mean, white room, but we want to hold a corner somewhere, yeah. right? We want them to walk into us, and why is a corner good? Because it's natural cover. That's why corners are good. Yeah. Yeah. They're playing defensively. What? Where is white room? Aw, oh, man. I don't uh, know. Go do your homework. Go, do, go write me a report on where white room is. Yes, <laughs> do you have your the, PC back on? That's one. like white. No, my thing hasn't even Which map? Control oh, control center. Oh, control center. Bro, you don't know what wire miss? It's all you know. That's all you get. It's all you get. Hey, I was casual. Leave me alone. <laughs> wire miss is a literal white room, bro. It's a lot of white room. Hit scans, it's, it's am I right? A single white room on that map. Average hit scan player. It's the one where everyone goes to kill people. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> It's the one where I you can take exp space when you play the Ryan comp with Sim. I played with Syme for almost two years. I can explain it. Alright, alright. <laughs> alright. A little, uh... Right. <laughs> what comp are we doing next? What comp are we doing next, fellas? Do some... Like a... Diva... Uh, dive comp, then. Diva dive comp? You wanna go over dive poke hybrid? I'm down to go over dive poke hybrid, actually. That's where I feel like Arisa would struggle the most. Yeah, it does, you're right. Dive poke. Dive... Okay. So let's 
Drop a text to Kyber. Okay, I'm giving example of that poke hybrid. Diva, Ash, Mercy, Tracer, Kiri. Diva. Ash. You ought to ask some of these guys if they want some free coaching, Bernie. You guys can stop them whenever they want. There's no door. I'm just out in the open. Just chilling. <laughs> You're on display. <laughs> I'm, I'm a pet project. Bernie, can Ryan be a dive tank if he shifts into the cool enemy team permanent? Can Ryan be a dive if you're tank? Bumper, I mean, that's a good question. What good if question. You have a weaver and Nobody you knows. Ryan in. Yeah, what if you have a, re a weaver and you just constantly press shift on You Ryan? guys don't know anything about the Circuit Royale <laughs> Reinhardt comp. You guys. Yeah, you do. Oh. Simply be on top right. of the spawn, spawn camp. Goat. No, that one sucks. No, oh. that's the legendary comp. What do you mean? No, but there's a light. Never mind. I'll show you the light weaver strat one day, Dab, and I'll have you. you know, I'll, whenever I'm your coach, all good. You never right. be my coach right. ever. Ooh. All right, that folk I've heard. All right. So when we're playing our basic comp, what do we expect the enemy team to to kind of play for? Picks. Your gold. Huh? Their DPS. Mm -hmm. Come on. Angles. There's something here. Which is. Why? Why do they care about angles? Oh, so they can shoot your backline? Yeah. Okay, I'm just kind of like, stop beating around. I'm going to make you guys stop beating around the bush. Just a poke, right? Yeah. yeah. Just a poke, right? Okay. So in general, uh, we know how to be poke, right? Yeah? What do we do? Uh, you want to get on backline and cover. Uh-huh. Yeah, you want to use cover. You want to get on their back line. Okay. Gotta get on their back line. And... Oh, what are the other things we talked about? Control the objective? Yeah, control objective. Objective. Control. Right. Objective control. Okay. So let's say we decide to go some, like, weird poke variation over Rissa, where we're playing like more pokey stuff, so I don't know, it's like, forget it's Reaper, maybe it's a Soge or whatever, right? Then they can play for their dive, right? And in general, Orissa's kind of weak against dive, like, especially compared to Rom and Ryan, why? For cooldown? Peel? Mm. Doesn't have as much peel. Well, she... And all. And when Orissa has to peel, what are they doing? So when Orion has to peel, what are they? What can they do? Shoot the shield. Well, when Orion peels, they not only peel off the dive, but they also cut off the enemy backline from helping in the dive, right? Mm -hmm. I have cancer. Wait, <laughs> sorry, that's too random. My fault. That's good. Like that's, right good. Now. that's good. Okay, so they also cut off the back line. And what does Rom do? Yeah, same thing, right? You can shield and then go nem form and then peel, right? Okay, so you're doing that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can Arissa do that? Can Arissa both peel the dive and cut off the on a that's incoming? No, no. No, no, of course not, right? So in general, Arissa is very weak against dive stuff, right? Because you can't peel those hard. You kind of have to play to, well, well, let's see. What do you think is more important? Do you think it's more important to peel the dive or deny the backline from walking? Deny the backline? Trick question. Trick question. Trick question. Trick question. Neither? Trick question. Nope. Well, kinda. Trick question, though. Which oh. is more important? What'd you say? Which one is more important? Healing off the dive or preventing the enemy backline from taking space off of the dive? Well, why not both? Well, then you define wrong. Then you'd be epic. But if Arissa has to choose one, if Arissa has to choose one, right? Where are you going to dump your cooldowns? Oh, backline. to peel? Because if her backline's not alive, she's dead? 
Maybe. Maybe. Is the answer mm. just that you're like screwed either way? No. Probably, but no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably, but there is a correct choice. I'm not just like trolling. I mean, when I play Arisa, I I tend yeah. to trade back lines. Yeah, I don't. As long as you're okay being on the Discord stream, I don't really care. You guys, my IRL. <laughs> Yo. Hi. We're all saying hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's he will do an epic. He's doing a drawing. I'm gonna draw oh, over shit. Overwatch. All right. Does he play? Yes, yeah, because of Brigman. It was epic. Right. Oh, he's a Brigman? Oh. Yeah, you get it. Alright, alright. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, is uh, it better to peel the dive or deny the enemy backline from taking space with the dive? Deny enemy backline. Why? Um. Because they don't have as much space and you can just trade backline as Sky does. Yeah, maybe. Why oh, would that be good? Uh. Because Arisa can generally win against the other tank. I love Fortify. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Is that important? I don't know. If I'm playing against Winston, Kiri, Lucio, Sombra, Tracer... Should I peel the dive or prevent the enemy backline from walking? Peel. Why? Because Kiri does not care if you walk on her. You can't stop her, basically. Yeah. Lucio mm -hmm. too. Huh? If the enemy team is playing Kiri on a Soge, Winston, Tracer, should you peel the dive or prevent the enemy backline from walking? Backline. Who's the carry? Uh, Sojourn? Yeah, Sojourn around, right? The carry is not the Winston. So Rissa is really, really good at shutting down a specific carry, right? And, right, yeah? Yeah. Makes sense? Yeah. Again, we talked about that because what is Arissa really good at? Well, shutting down enemy tank when they're getting a lot of resources, right? You're going to get more cooldown rotations, you're going to do a little bit better at spacing them, you're going to annoy the heck out of the Ryan or Ron, right? So Rissa is really good at using their cooldown to shut down one guy, right? You shut down that guy, okay? Yeah? Mm -hmm. And that can be with any guy, even a May. Even a May, you can choose to shut down hard with your cooldowns. How would you do that? You get walled off. The whole team is hitting you. How do you shut down the May? You press shift. Yeah, you fortify. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you fortify, right? Yeah, you shut down the May's game plan, right? Make sense? Yeah. yeah. So when we're in the discussion of do we peel versus the dive, or do we try to trade back lines, the answer is what's better for you, or what's worse for the enemy comp even, right? If they're playing a really hard dive comp and the carry is whoever's diving, well, then go shut down their dive and shut down that guy and get him out of the fight, right? If they're playing a weak dive, you have to kind of pick a comp that's a little bit more self-sufficient and trust that your backline can peel the dives themselves because the enemy has less dive power and just try to trade backlines because that's something that you can do, right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so you just kind of, as a risk player, you have to identify the carry and look to shut them down. And when Orisa was met up before... Who else was really OP? Soge. Soger. Yeah, Soge. Soge, so the answer was like 99% of the time, go kill that Soge. Yeah. And your backline will just have to be fine. Right? And if they're not, then <laughs> you lose. And if yeah. they are, then you win. Right? Yeah. Then you say, team gap, GG. And then you leave the game. You leave the <laughs> team. on the the game. Right? Yeah. yeah. Because a dive poke comp, that's kind of how we want to play. Identify who their carry is and prevent them from playing the game. So in this comp, what do we want to do on Arisa? Diva, Ash, Tracer, Kiri, Mercy. What do we want to do? Kill the Ash. Yeah, we would want to trade backlines. It's a little bit more important for us because this Diva Tracer shouldn't really just be hard killing our backline. Is your friend drawing Arisa? Hey, he's drawing. Tell him it's a good drawing. It's a good. He says it's a good drawing. Don't, know don't look. Hey, don't, don't look. look. He says not to look. Don't look. It's not done. All right. Um, yeah, but that's how we want to play against the Dipoke hybrid. I will say, uh, like Sticko was right, that is probably the hardest matchup for Arisa comps, and it's one of the reasons why it's harder to play comps like that on Ilios Lighthouse, right? Because a Farmer C that can play the game will just tear you apart unless you have a goaded Widow player, and then you're playing a Widow and an Arisa comp, and then mm -hmm. and we're like, what are we doing here, guys? Right? Seven. Oh. 
You find some goofy oh. stuff. Okay. So, there you go. All right. So, Bevan, dude, Dom's banned from playing Widow. Do you guys know that? What well, is he? Is he? Yeah, Scott is a Widow. Scott's a Widow player now. now. Yeah, Scott, Scott's our widow player. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> There's no way you guys lose. All three of my DPS players lose to my tank player and a widow. I want headshot to only. I saw that. Scotty upset me that he's like, I might just be the best one on the team. That's crazy, by the way. You just can't. I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't let that happen to me. I won the first lobby by a huge amount, okay? All right. <laughs> Use it all. Uh, of Atlanta, 23% weapon so now let's talk about dice. All right. So dive, what do we do? Hard dive. I feel like you should like poke out their team before they die. Yeah. Here's a good point. So we want to poke CDs. We can. Right. So we want to abuse the fact that Arissa is in fact a ranged character. And try to poke out CDs if we can. Right. What else do we want to do? So we said it's hard to peel on Arissa. Right. How do we make it a little bit easier to peel on Arissa? Stay close to your backline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to stack, right? Back? Okay, but what does stacking open you up to? You lose a lot of map control? Yeah, you lose map control. On an aid. Which means that the dive comp can do what now? Stage. Uh, stage? Yeah, they can stage from where? High ground. Sure. Anywhere. Yeah, like anywhere, right? They have just a lot of options. They have high ground, they have angles, right? Got, they, the word is angles that I'm looking for. High ground is inclusive in that angle, right? An angle, a vertical angle, right? Um, or maybe just a safe angle that they don't get poked out on, right? So they have a lot of angles. So how do we want to make sure they can't like abuse those angles as hard? Rotate together. I, ideally, we don't want to be rotating. But yeah, yeah, we, we want to rotate together. That's just kind of playing stacked, right? I'm thinking more when the fight's about to happen. So we want to um, stack. Where do we want to stack? Kind of. We're just playing up all comp, right? So this is an important asset of our comp. Where are we stacking? Objective. We need the objective. So we have some control of the critical space. I'll stop saying the, the objective because it's not necessarily the only true as kind of corrected me. Right? Just critical space. But I'm going to write objective control. But you want to stack so that you control the critical space, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. I'm playing a brawl comp. I'm playing on Ilios Well, and I've got my five guys stacked up in a circle right next to the well, chilling there. We're not going to get booped. They have no boops. Don't worry about that. But we're all just chilling there in the middle of the point, just chilling right next to the well. But we're stacked, so they can't dive us, right? Mm hmm. Well. Wrong. See, this guy knows. No. Wrong. Oh, what are they going to do? They dive from angles. So how do we make their angles less potent? Just think about Ilya as well. Mm, yes, but think about Ilya as well. If you're playing Orissa on Ilya as well, where do you want to be? You want to stack? You don't want to. You want to poke them out if you can. Your main objective is to stack, force them to dive into you, and live that dive. And you live the dive easier if they attack from less angles. So where can you go from? Where can you stack? That you have objective control, and it's harder for them to dive you. They have less angles to attack you from. The mini room. Yeah, what's that called? What's that room called? It's called cage. It's called cage for the uninitiated. But anyways, you want to stack closed space, right? Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's how I want to play. This is just generally kind of brawl stuff. All the matches is generally kind of brawl stuff. Except for the last one, which I left left on purpose, which is what comp? Brawl comp? We're not going to go over the hybrids. Oh. Yeah, we're going to go over brawl. We're not going to go over all the hybrids because I think the main hybrids that are important is the dive poke, right? Because that's the one that's kind of played more as far as ball comps and diva comps, right? So not many uh, other comps. Okay. So now let's go over brawl. How does an Orisa comp beat a brawl comp? We've kind of talked about this a little bit, but not fully in depth. We talked about Ryan versus Rom. But in general, how do we want to be playing an Orisa comp? How do we beat them? Oh, uh, we just. You were going over this earlier. Where is Orisa here? 
He's more on the poke side. He's on this axis somewhere, right? Depending on what DPS we're playing. Like, if we're playing the May Reaper, it's probably closer to Brawl, right? And if we play something like Soge May, it's probably closer to Poke, right? Yeah. So how do we want to be beating a hard, hard, hard Brawl comp? What counters Brawl comp? Poke, so poke. you play for your Poke. Poke, so we want to play for our Poke. Which means what? Well, A, of course we just want to be poking, but how do we make it so that the poke phase of the fight is longer? How do I make that out of the case? Chat on the tank, okay. Uh-huh. So we want to use CDs to do what? To live. Range. You see, I'll just say, you're all right. Everything you said was right there. I'm just going to say to slow down the tempo. Use CDs to slow. To slow down the tempo, right. So if you're spearing the enemy tank back, it's, it's, they have to use more HP or more time to walk, right? Yeah, makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. And for ultimates, how do you want to use ultimates? Do we want to hard go in and pop all of our ultimates in their face and try to win really fast? Probably not. No. Why not? Because Pearl gets weaker over time. Well, they're playing Brawl, too. So. Uh, um, We're both playing Brawl. You want to... What's up? You want to lengthen the, your poke phase? Yeah, you want to lengthen the poke phase, and if you're hard engaging with an ultimate early, you don't have a poke phase, right? You're eliminating your poke phase, so we don't want to do that. So how do we want to use our ultimates? Defensively? To do what? Extend the fight. Yeah, slow down the tempo, try to get it back into a poke phase section, right? Yeah, so we want to use ults and CDs to slow down the tempo. Make sense? Right. Yeah. yeah, okay. So how else do we want to play against a hard, hard brawl comp on Arisa? So, oh, by the way, we're playing for a poke, which also means if we do go up against a hard, hard brawl comp, what should we do with our comp? Uh, switch the Reaper for, like, a Soge. And the May could potentially go to if we really wanted to commit to it. Look at the May go to. Hanzo. Yeah, like a Hanzo. But just, you, just, you know, you should have a general list of poke characters, brawl characters, eye characters. I actually have a list of like most pokey and brawly like characters um, that I can post. But generally, you know, you kind of know what characters are more pokey. You want to make the switch, right? And we kind of identify, okay, oh, we're playing the Brawl Comp, let's go ahead and we'll play Poke, let's swap this, swap that, right? Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're playing the Brawl Comp. We want to use ults and cooldowns to slow down the fight. Okay. So we're playing for a Poke, so we should be thinking in the mindset of a Poke Comp, right? We still, we don't want to like just hard int, right? Because they probably have some Poke too in the form of maybe a May or whatever, so we still want to have some natural cover but in general, how do we want to adjust the space that we're playing? So let's think control center. Control center. If we're playing versus poke comp on control center, where do we want to play? Corners. We want to play in a corner that is very close to them and that allows us easy access to their, to their back line when they push. Yeah? Mm. Okay. Do we want to do that with the brawl comp? No. Mm -mm, why not? They'll just run into you. Yeah, because that will make the fight happen faster. That's what they want, right? They want you to yeah, that's what engage. they want. They want the fight to happen fast, right? So again, we can kind of draw this this little chart here, right? So, does everyone remember this chart? Yes. Right. That's, like, my chart, right? Love that chart, okay? So, in general... How does where's Orisa comp fit into this? Where does Orisa comp fit into this? Um, where brawl and poke intercept. It kind of because it's a hybrid comp. It kind of fills this new line, right? So it has a new line that kind of goes 
put it down like this, and then kind of levels out, right? But you can also play it in a way that, and this entirely depends on your picks, right? Is that we can play hard for this brawl line here, right? Or we can play hard for this poke line here, right? And again, that depends on kind of what characters are picking around the Arista, right? But in general, no matter what characters you pick with an Arista, the Arista is going to run out of cooldowns, right? Makes yeah. sense? Yeah. So the Arista will fall off over time, no matter what you do. Okay. So how how do we want to beat a Brawl Kong? I didn't draw that line. It's perfect. I just kind of want to give you guys an idea of what it would look like. How do we want to beat a Brawl Kong? So we can see here, I intentionally drew the start of the Arista comp line beneath the Brawl line. Right? But eventually, there comes a point where if an engagement happens, the Arista comp will win. So what do we have to do? Force resources. We have to force some resources out of them, right? And that's through a poke. So how do we play in the mind of a poke comp? Well, like I said, we we're kind of getting on the topic of, well, we want to play corner against a poke comp, right? What kind of space do we want to play against a hard brawl comp? More open space? Yeah, we'll play more open space. We're going to force more open space when we're playing against the hard brawl comp on a wrist. Okay? And that will, again, let us get eventually to this point where we beat a brawl comp. And that point will change based on what comp they're playing, what comp we're playing, right? Because they might be playing a hard brawl comp with a sim. And how does that change things? You know, we might be playing an Arisa comp with a, so with a Soj Hanzo. We might be playing, well, let's, let's follow that topic. So if we're playing Arisa Comp with a Soj Hanzo, how, how does that affect how we want to play? Do we want to play faster or slower? Slower. Yeah, because we will hit this point where we beat their comp a lot later, right? Mm -hmm. Because we have to get out more cooldowns because then we can't trade our cooldowns. Whereas if we're playing Reaper May, we probably only have to poke out a select few cooldowns, right? All right. Yeah. And then we can force engagement and probably win against several comp. Right. But then the trade-off is is that this comp here, so like, oh, well, why don't we just play Reaper May all the time, then it's like better against Brawl. Well, because well, Reaper, Reaper May is worse against what kind of comp? Poke. Okay. Yeah, like a poke comp and a hard brawl comp if they're able to get on us faster. Right. Because then we're just losing this tank battle. Okay. And it's harder, it's also much, much harder to poke them out with these characters. Right? Mm -hmm. Much harder to poke someone out with a May versus a Hanzo. Well, look at this. I'm pretty good. That's pretty nice, huh? I'm missing an arm, though. But we'll get back. Yeah, so this is the idea. Right. This is the idea. So we've gone over Arissa on all comps. We've gone uh, Arissa on what kind of maps they want to run. We've gone, like, why would you play Arissa versus instead of Saram or Ryan, right? Um, and, yeah, so that's the idea behind this comp. Um, something that we just have to get in the habit of doing that will make this kind of VOD more effective is... We just gotta identify this, right? When is the enemy team playing a brawl comp? When is the enemy team playing a poke comp? And what is that? Now, now, once we identify that, we're like, oh, that means we do this, right? So it's good, but we have to get to this first step of, hey, they're playing this comp. Okay, now we need to adjust our playstyle this way, right? And that's why hybrid comps are a little bit harder. And we talked about that in our opening VOD, is that hybrid comps are just generally more difficult because you're required to know more matchups, right? And you have two different playstyles, you have to know which one to tap into at each given moment. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so once we get there, we should be free sailing. Um, all right, any questions? Anything are we uh, are we Could practicing we this tomorrow? Are we yep. running some horse comps? Yep, so we'll practice this tomorrow. We'll do a VOD of this on Thursday, and then we'll kind of follow up on that VOD on Friday. And then Sunday, I will be back here, maybe not in this room, but in this building, uh, to do another one of these. Sorry, it's on Sunday. So anyway, we'll be back here doing another one of these uh, on a different comp, and then we'll roll into that the next week, and I'll see if the weekend after I can... Um, I think I'll be graduating, so probably won't be doing it. But, Ooh. Uh, we'll see. Alright. Uh, no questions? Yes. It, it's it's a bit unrelated, but... Um, yes. Is the reason that Hanzo being played over Torb is just because Hanzo offers that one-shot potential? Like that... Yeah, 100%. Oh, okay. Also, Torb is... I wouldn't say he's a tech pick, 
Um, Orb is like a hybrid but, of Bonzo and Reaper, but slightly worse than yeah. the things they can do. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like if you want so, to specialize between one of them, then you pick one or the other. Yeah, so it's better for Brawl. So Torb is better for Brawl, specifically shutting down flankers and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. But really, yeah, like Overwatch 2, like Hondo just was mega broken. I don't know. Uh, he's probably still fine. Probably okay. He's probably still didn't mega just like broken. fall off the face of the earth because he can't one shot a Reaper, but you know. I'm sure he's fine. But yeah, Torb is more of a tech pick to kind of shut down flankers who are very good right now. So, uh, Torb is good. The problem is Torb just doesn't offer that um, shut down on a lot of maps right now. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, we'll see what they do to Torb. Um, or just if the Soge uh, changes their impactful, which they feel impactful. So, we'll see how that goes. All right. Uh, uh, any final questions? I think we're good. That's it? We're good? All right. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Peace. You got to take a picture of that Arisa drawing when he's done with it. I will. That's for you All guys. All right. Yeah. Later, Bernie. Later, fellas. Yeah. Bye-bye.